All right, guys. So I'm gonna do the quick recap uh, for today. I had a pretty good day. Market is at uh, queues at all-time high, just ripping higher, and um, spy at all-time high, just a few cents away from all-time high, because uh, that's exactly all-time high at 40, 40, 425, 47. And uh, IWM is uh, creeping up toward all-time high. Um, so. Uh, IWM have still a little bit of room, that's why uh, I'm long uh, TNA a little bit heavily because I think IWM will eventually catch up. TNA is the leveraged uh, ETF of IWM, TQQ is the leveraged yeah, <coughs> ETF for Q's QQQ. So today, it was, a, it was a really good day, I had a pretty solid day. Um, Brian also had a good day. AMC was nice to both of us, although the price action was a little bit jerky, uh, as we call it. At the open... <coughs> So AMC is stuck in this range, and as long as it is in this range, it's really tough to trade. So as you see on a daily chart, it's stuck in, in a range. Yesterday was really good. Today was also good, but it's just the, the candlesticks were more choppy. Uh, it was red a little bit, came right at the red to green, and then opened up, went up. I waited for the first minute, that's what I do. Closed as a doji, and I decided to take it to the short. I mean, this doji is a very weird doji. You know, it's just, it wasn't a really great, uh, yeah, you know it's a big range doji but i decided to take a short uh, just below the vwap stop loss above this moving averages and vwap potentially and for the breakout of this level it did drop covered 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 and then bounced back and i got to stop that at the break even point did a squeeze up came down and uh, hold the vwap i went long at 58.30 added a little bit more at 58.40 popped up towards 58.70 i really wanted to go to 59 but it really didn't break out toward the 59 and that was the issue i even added more one more time for the breakouts of this level this one is uh, two days ago high but it really didn't and uh, collapsed and uh, i got to stop out that almost break even so this one was one long uh, the short and this one was uh, the second long that i did um brian so far i don't think you traded amc you you flipped on the short one yeah yeah i just tra i just traded it to the short side yeah and then uh, we switched after that i saw that it's really collapsing we switched uh, both brian and i to the short at 58 a little micro pullback added more and then we did uh, break this 57 70 level and covered 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 all the way up toward the 57 there was a s4 level here and then on the pullback i added more hoping to get to this level 5680 and then we had this 5610 level that comes from the daily chart you know if we want to come down 5610 that's exactly the moving average nine moving average on a daily chart and it did come back up and it got to stop me out so and that was the moment that i was really done with it because i first of all i had a really really good day so that's my uh, short cover cover and then added more i was hoping to get the next move but i got to stop that at the break even point and that the reason for that is when you're adding your average comes a little bit, uh, you know, becomes worse. And then my average really, really became here. So that's why I got to stop that. So, you know, when you're adding to your position. So, yeah, I got to stop that. It came back to the VWAP. Brian went short again here. So Brian was short here with me. And then you did short it again one more time around uh, yeah. this area. Yeah, yeah I shorted it at the, at the VWAP. yeah and then yeah the 20 moving average excellent so uh, yeah yeah so that was it and then uh you know i did the small pullback really uh, went to 56.10 and then bounced back and i'm not really trading it anymore so that was uh my uh really good trade club was my only loss that uh, <clears throat> came up club was gapping up like 10 percent it was really good had good volume and the first minute sold off went below the VWAP. And then hold this moving average on a one minute chart and came back up i would long 49.50 added about 50 and i was really hoping to get to the you know 50 and above and then it suddenly dropped and i got to stop out that was my biggest loss um and then i never after that i never really touched it and it turned out to be a really nice five minutes of range breakdown but i just didn't really like shorting it and i just didn't like the you know, I, I don't know. I mean, it was a very strong stock like that. I just didn't, I wasn't really a fan of trading it. And I, I had a bad loss on it too. So that's it. And then we go to the MRIN that I'm really bad at trading them. Um, but Brian had it under his watch. 
you know, in the first minute did some stuff, came hold the Viva. It would have been a really good uh, long here, but I just decided late, jumped in at 315, popped up to 325, sold some, all the way up to 330, dropped. Uh, what did I do? I, I think I got out a little bit here by mistake. Yeah, I was going to sell my AMC. And then here, added more for the next breakout, and I eventually got out of the break even. So it's all one trade with one ad. <coughs> that uh yeah so this is a long sold so this was a mistake by sold but added more but eventually i got out of the break <coughs> and that's it for me uh, anything else from you brian uh you did a sh long on vxrt i think that was a really nice long <coughs> yeah yeah it was not <coughs> didn't work out that great um the uh because it did end up pulling back after uh so, you know, it was a green trade, but marginal. The other trade I did was a rising devil trade on RAD, RAD, mm -hmm. at the open. So, so uh, uh, gapping it here, yeah. Yeah, gapping down um, if, because of earnings at the uh, open. So we had the nice pop-up to the VWAP. That's where you always short it on a rising devil. And, uh, yeah, had a nice, uh, nice rejection from the VWAP, pulled back. <laughs> cover cover and then uh, yeah it hasn't done anything since so yeah, the volume kind of died on it so the rising devil strategy yeah. is just the reverse of fallen angel and you know when the stock is dropping really hard in the pre-market so this one was down like 12 percent is really weak any pop at the open could be a shorting opportunity it's kind of exactly against the just the reverse of uh, fallen angel when every drop you can buy for an like, MRIN was somehow some sort of a buy at the WeWap popped up. Brad is completely against it. So Brian has it, you know, I think every pop, these pops are usually happen fast. You can put these short uh, orders here and after that it's just selling off. So, <clears throat> and you really require a very devil stock, like a really red. That's why we call it the devil. <clears throat> yeah, my entry on that was uh, 1819. Nineteen. Well, that's exactly pretty much right at the Viva. So, Clav, yeah. uh, Jeff asked a question. Uh, that's a good question. Clav said, "Would you take this one as an opening range breakdown, even though the stock has gapped up?" Yeah, possibly you can. Uh, possibly you could. The reason that I, you know, I had a loss on it and then I went to AMC. Possibly you can. Uh, you can short the strongest stocks potentially if you see really weakness in the price action. This turned out to be a really nice uh, five minute open range breakdown. But you also have to remember that you're shorting a stronger stock. So you got to be a little bit careful in your management, share size and uh, trade uh, risk management. Uh, you know, again, you know, we did the example of, uh, you know, when you're driving in Germany, you know, Autobahn with no speed limit is different from when you are really driving in a you know, rainy uh, mountain road. So, you know, it's just the same thing. You know, in this situation, you're sure if you want to short it here, you can. But you just have to be a little bit careful in terms of you know entry share size and everything uh definitely not an a setup plus shorting a stronger stock but possibly you can i mean we do we do short sell, uh, sell short a lot of a stronger stock so uh you just have to be careful <coughs> uh in this particular yeah, I would case say, because I you know, this last, yeah, sorry I, I just didn't want to yeah yeah i mean this is i mean <coughs> peter shorted amd i believe um, because it did put in sort of a, a double top back around uh, 10 o'clock, I think is when you went short. But you can see here, once you know you get that big run up, um, it did do a double top. But you know every pullback on AMD has been bought. So this is the challenge with shorting a, a strong stock is you uh, you're you know sometimes they'll break down, but quite often you'll just see pullbacks get bought like AMD like what's happening with AMD right now yeah. beauty beauty send some of my TQ so. here all right um, yeah so Peter Peter is quick to take <coughs> take uh, uh, take uh, profits yeah so see shorting these small scalps and Brian and uh, sure <coughs> Peter is really uh, trading AMD on a smaller time frame and uh, smaller scale. So, you know, from 86.23, that's a nice short. So these counter trends, you got to be careful. Peter is really good at managing his uh, risk. 
he doesn't get a stock on his short you know even though he's shorted here on the very strongest stock on the top like a mountain pass but it covers really uh, you know uh, nicely and he doesn't want to stock in the short um, so guys uh, I just wanted to thank uh, for everyone on YouTube for likes comments and subscribe because we want to grow this channel um, and uh, really appreciate your support if you have any question leave it in the comments and um, yeah hopefully tonight is the Portland meetup next week uh, we have a New York City meetup and uh, excited to see everyone there um, Brian anything from you no that's it <clears throat> Uh, everyone had a good day yeah it was it wasn't it wasn't a very volatile day at least for our type of starts but uh, we, we survived uh, to take some profit MRN is collapsing no shares for sure yeah you know these kind of drops are just uh, people are bailing at it so we gotta be careful okay guys thank you so much uh, elite members we have the mentorship session in 20 minutes <coughs> in the webinar room and talk to you soon all guys